Welcome, I'm the Computer Lab Teacher. The ribbon in Microsoft Office 2010 has replaced the customary menu found in earlier versions of the Microsoft Office programs. It is a design and organized guide to guide you through the commands needed for working on tasks, and you can minimize it to provide a larger working space. There are a few ways to minimize the ribbon. A new feature in Office 2010 is the Minimize the Ribbon command on the top right side of your window. It is also next to the blue Microsoft Office Help button. When you click on it, it will minimize or hide your ribbon on your screen. You will only see the tabs on top. When you click on the tabs, you still have access to all the commands. Remember, if you want to work in this view, you will have a larger active workspace for your projects. If you want to maximize or show the ribbon, simply click on the arrow command again. You can also minimize the ribbon by double clicking on any of the tabs. To restore the ribbon, double click on the tab again. When you click on the tabs, make sure you're careful not to double click on them or you will hide your ribbon. This happens more than you think when people are working on their projects. If you right click on any part of the ribbon, you can select the minimize the ribbon option. Clicking on the tab and right clicking on the ribbon, you can select minimize the ribbon and remove the check next to it. Another way to minimize the ribbon is to use the keyboard shortcut. If you hold the control key and press the F1 function, hold them together, it will minimize the ribbon. To undo this function, simply hold the control key and press the F1 function. Remember, when your ribbon is minimized, you still have access to all the different commands that you are working with. If you select any of the tabs, you will see the groups and the commands for the tabs. Once you have moved back to your working space, the ribbon will be minimized again so you can have a larger workspace. We hope you enjoy this tutorial and we'll see you again in another one.